Um, it feels very strange to be here. I'm in a lecture theatre on my own. The last time I was in here, I was trying to say some farewells to you um, and uh, go through some of the pictures that you can see on the board behind me and try to give you a bit of a send off under really unusual circumstances. I certainly thought at that point that we would be back in school by now. I didn't think that we would have been on lockdown for quite so long and adjusting to a very new way of life. It's been quite odd for you. You will be the year group that's always remembered that you didn't sit your GCSEs. And for many of you, that will be a shame that you've worked so hard and not had that opportunity to shine. However, as a school, we've been asked to submit centre assessed grades. That means whereabouts we think you are, and we've also put you in a rank order as well. So if the exam boards disagree with our grading, that they can readjust that if they see fit. So that's where we're up to. They've been submitted now. They may change them, they may not. We're quite satisfied that we've got it right. Now your results date will still go ahead as normal in August. More information will be sent out to you. It's really, really important that you are checking your emails. If you're not sure how to log on, which you should be, um, it's your computer log on that you would log on if you're in IT or computer science, that, you, that username of yours, so your surname plus some numbers, and then your password, that will get you onto your emails. I've tried to keep you up to date um, via email, but it is clear that some of you aren't checking that as regularly as you could do. So, up to now then, we know that you've had your grades submitted, you've not sat your exams, you should all have had your hoodies by now. If you haven't, you need to get in touch with Smart Uniform uh, and ask them where it is, and they should send that out to you as soon as possible. My role has been over the past several weeks communicating with various colleges, telling them whether you're registering for a suitable course or not. However, I realise for some of you the future seems even more uncertain than it did back in March when you left here. If you are worried about an apprenticeship or a college place or transport because you've now got to wear a face mask and the buses might not be as regular or you might not be able to get on because they can't pack them as full as they did, then please, please speak to us. I am a firm believer um, that this is the best place for you. We know you, we know your ability, we can offer you a course that's suitable for your ability. And on a personal level, I would love to see you back here. I would love it if you could all come back here and continue your studies because I think the BH6 team do a brilliant job in securing people the right path moving forward. But I also think it's a very uncertain time. I know certainly when I was on maternity leave, when you started in year nine, I would walk around Newcastle doing my shopping and see a number of ex-students walking around town with their lanyards on, nearly noticeable, kicking their heels for a couple of hours in between classes at college. Um, whereas if you're here, you're able to go home, your day is much shorter. So just bear that in mind. If you are unsure, please, please speak to us. The sooner we know about you, the sooner we know your intentions, the better we can support you and look at getting you on a course that best suits your ability. So, all I'd like to ask you to do now is to stay in touch, email me, email the BH6 team if that's what you want to do, but if you just want to have a chat or let me know how you're getting on, drop me an email, it's hatchb at biddlepie.co.uk, hopefully um, you should know that. And thank you to those of you that have stayed in touch, it's been really, really nice. As for me now, I'm going to sit in a lecture theatre on my own, have a little cry, wonder why no one's in the bin, throwing water around the year 11 area and think about how much I miss you and how much I can't wait till results day where hopefully I'll be able to see you all and give you all a massive pat on the back and congratulate you. I hope you're all staying safe and well, have a lovely summer and keep in touch. Bye.